Hey, what's up, everybody? Barnon 11970, and as always, I will thank you for watching my video. Whether you like them or not, I appreciate the fact that you're actually taking time out of your day to watch my video, or at least thumb it up or thumb it down, but at least you're coming to my channel. Um, what I'm actually finding funny is people are saying the most ridiculous things about this. Now, I'm just here to point things out. Something that I saw, something that I thought should be brought to people's attention. Um, I never knew we were a society of if something doesn't seem right or it seems strange or it seems different or it seems out of the ordinary, that we should just be good little dogs and shut up and not say anything. Is that really what kind of society we want? People to just mind their own business, never say anything, and just let bullies be bullies, whether they're governments or just regular people? So in other words, if you're son or daughter or family member is being beaten by bullies every day should you just tell them oh well you know just take it don't say anything just allow them to do it because if you stand up for yourself you're going to seem strange or different or you might report it to the to the authorities or to a counselor and they may not believe your story oh what do you mean that bully goes around and takes a candy bar and shoves it in your nose well, I don't see a candy bar, so you must be lying. It sounds too out of the ordinary. Now, of course, that's a weird, strange example. But my point is, for example, this 1-800 thing. As soon as I saw it, yes, it's a conspiracy, as the people say. People really need to learn the definition of conspiracy. Cons the definition of conspiracy is when two or more people conspire to do something. The sad thing is, because so many people are so programmed by mainstream media, they think of conspiracy as an evil word. What is so wrong with speaking your mind? Because that's all I'm doing. And the, this is the part I find funny. The, big, the only argument I get so far about it, other than the fact that people are saying, and I'm getting this on my Facebook page, that this is a ridiculous thing, you shouldn't talk about it. So if something's ridiculous, you can't talk about it. You should just stay silent and just ignore it. Is that the kind of society you want to live in? And this is the one argument people are saying. Well, the 1-800 number, you're omitting the one, so it can't be real. You're just making it up. You're trying to search for straws. Well, let me tell you something. And I, it's sad that I actually have to explain this. I mean, are people, are some of these people really just this stupid? When I used I used to work for a company that used to sell 1-800 um, numbers. This was God at least 15 years ago. We used to cold call businesses and try and get them to upgrade their number to a 1-800 number, and they would be able to pick out whatever number they wanted. So if they and a lot of people, when you see numbers, they use the letters to spell it out because it makes it easy to remember. Like 1-800 lawyers, for example, L A W, whatever it is. Instead of looking at the number. It's easy to remember something like 1-800-LAWYERS. So people use the letters. Now, one thing about that, when you want a specific thing to say something in a phone number, all of those numbers have to be available. So did anyone ever stop to think? Because when you have a 1-800 number and you can choose the numbers, sometimes they're off by one or off by two. Or maybe you can only do an abbreviation. Because, for example, if some other law firm wanted 1-800-LAWYERS, well, it's no longer available. So if somebody had the number that even not coincidentally spelled the word F-U, well, then they had to do the next best thing and try and get a number that would go close enough to it. So those of you who say, oh, well, you're just missing the one so it doesn't really say it, they're not using that piece of meat that's in between their ears. And they're not thinking. I mean, come on. I know this society has been dumbed down. But are we really to the point where we can't see the obvious thing that maybe that number that they wanted? And I'm not saying this is absolutely what they did. But anyone ever stop and think that maybe just that number specifically where it would say F-U-C-K-Y-O-U was just not available? I mean, are we really this dumb? I don't get it. So the people, it's, it's so funny. As soon as I put the other video up,
two seconds afterwards, there was one loser with nothing better to do to thumb it down because they think it bothers me. And they'll say, oh, well, why do you keep talking about it? Why not? <laughs> so the, I'll, I'll get people doing that. And I, it's, it's so funny. We don't, re, we don't research history. For centuries, the church programmed the people of the planet that were under their control that the earth was flat, that the sun revolved around the earth, and that the earth was the center of the universe. And this is what the majority of people believed for centuries. And then when people like Galileo or, Galileo or others came along and said, no, the earth is round, people made fun of him. People attacked him. They actually imprisoned him where he died in jail for saying, no, the earth is round. And let me tell you something. Whether the earth is flat or earth is round is irrelevant. Let me ask all of you this. How many of you have gone into outer space to verify what the earth is? Now, as ridiculous as that may sound, the only reason you even know that the earth is round is because somebody told you that. Now, I'm not sitting here suggesting it's whatever it is. The earth could be a triangle. The earth could be an isosceles triangle for all I care. It could be square, it could be octagon, it could be whatever. I don't care. But here's the thing. Nobody has proven it. No one has gone up and seen it for themselves. So you are basing everything in life according to what you are told. So it's whether what you agree with, what you disagree with, what you like, what you don't like, what you're afraid of, what you're not afraid of. That's what everything in life boils down to. That includes your God, if you have one or don't have one. It includes evolution. It includes your name, numbers, history, what have you. Everything you have ever learned has been programmed into you because it was told to you. So it's all about your perception of something your ability to read into things or question them. Because anybody that sits there and says, oh, well, this person's talking about this because this is what they heard from somebody else, is nothing more than a hypocrite because everything you have learned has been because somebody else told you about it. The only reason you could go to a tree and say that's a tree is because somebody told you that's what we call it. You weren't born and all of a sudden look at this thing and say, tree. Everything you have been told about is nothing more than somebody telling you this is the way it is. And you can choose to believe it. You can choose to not believe it. You can choose to like it, not like it. But the fact that people have to sit there and say, oh, because somebody like myself and others actually found something out of the ordinary, and we're not afraid to talk about it, that means people, and they have the right to make fun of it, and I don't blame them. But if you cannot do anything in your life other than make fun of people, instead of being productive and try and find out the reasons behind things, and can't use that logical sense that, you know, yeah, that number says almost what he said, but there's a number missing, so it's impossible. It's, you're reading into it. Instead of saying, wait a minute, Maybe that number just wasn't available, and they picked the next best thing. I, I am blown away by the lack of intelligence of the people these days. I mean, really. So they can make fun of it. That's great. I, I encourage it. But here's the thing. None of them will ever do anything to question things. They'll just be conformed. They'll believe everything they're told. Like I said, even any religion on the planet, you were not born, and all of a sudden, your God or whatever you worship did not come down out of the atmosphere and talk to you and say, hi, I'm baby Jesus, or hi, I'm Mr. Buddha, or hi, I am the cabbage that you pray to every night. I'm here to show you who I am. You believe in what you believe because that's what you were told. And it's a belief. It's not a fact. So if you want to spend your whole life on your high horse thinking, oh, I can ridicule others because what they say is different from what I agree with or like or believe in, 
does not mean you are right. Just because you're comfortable with staying in a flat line for your whole life. You're told something, you believe it, you don't question it. Because God forbid, because somebody might make fun of you. Somebody might attack you. That's a real definition of a coward. And I, I really wish people would look up the word conspiracy. Because it just proves that they will believe everything that the media tells them. And they vilify the word so it makes you seem like it's a bunch of crazy people. Well, I wish there were more crazy people like that in the world. Who stand up to things. Who see things and actually aren't afraid to mention them. It's very easy to be a coward. It's very easy to make fun of others and say, oh, well, I'm not going to research something. I'm not going to check into it. I don't like it. What you talked about, it doesn't sound right. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes me actually feel like I have to do an effort. So what I'm going to do is the easy thing. I'm just going to make fun of it. I'm going to attack it. I'm going to kill that person. I'm going to hurt that person. I'm going to destroy that person's reputation. Hurt people. Because that's easy. That doesn't take effort. Like they say, it's easier to destroy than to create. And when you are talking about things that most people are afraid of, you are creating thought. You are creating a situation that others can say, wait, I didn't know about that. Now, like I said, I'm not here to say that I have all the answers. I mean, come on. I'm not that superficial. I'm not that insecure. And let me tell you something. If I was here to worry about what people thought of me... I would sit there and make video after video saying nothing but what people in the general public like. And you notice I don't do that. So as you can see, I'm on a rant today, which for me is, is always an amazing thing. I, I highly recommend it because it gets out any concerns that you have and you let it go and you move on. So people formulate their opinions. And I'll issue a challenge to the people who thumb down my video. I want to see if anybody out there that thumbs it down will actually have the ability to actually say they did it and show who they are see if they're actually brave because i know there are people out there that actually make other channels just the thumb down videos and i know some of them and i find them actually kind of pathetic but let's see because i don't mind if people thumb down videos believe it or not or thumb them up but if you thumb it down make a comment say i'm the one that did it and explain why I guarantee you, you will not see, let's say there's six thumbs down on this video. You will not see six comments from six different people saying, I thumbed it down and this is why. Because they're afraid. They don't want to be seen. And, I, and, I, and even if they do it, they will not have any videos that they make to help people better their lives. Or they won't show videos of their faces. So I'm kind of beating a dead horse today. I'm, fun, I'm making fun of this because I find it funny. But I, I, I really cannot believe people sometimes. I mean, really, because it doesn't specifically say it straight out in a row. That means that it's a conspiracy and it's just fishing and searching for straws. If you want to think the Obamacare, where 98% of it says the word fuck you. As a coincidence, you have that right. Doesn't make you right. And it doesn't make me right. I'm not sitting here saying that. All I'm doing is. Pointing something out. And especially on my Facebook page, the way I've been attacked for it, if you want to be a conformant who just believes everything that you're told without question, then, hey, believe two planes took down three buildings in Manhattan on 9-11. And don't question it. Because I guess we should just believe what we're told, be good little dogs, and submit to everything that's said. Because governments would never do things to lie to us never do things to hurt us. But yet, meanwhile, our government was responsible for making treaties with the American Indians, which they broke and slaughtered, you know, men, women, and children. You know, they wouldn't do that. In World War II, they had the camps for all the Japanese Americans who were, some of them who were even born in America just because they were Japanese. They were sent to internment camps for how many years? Couldn't leave. You know, American people. American citizens. Let's not forget uh, Operation Fast and Furious, that they've actually been caught. It's been proven. This is not a conspiracy. It's a proven fact that our government was caught selling military weapons to the drug cartels in Mexico, which ended up ultimately killing United States Border Patrolmen and ordinary citizens. 
But not, let's also not think about how we like to bomb other countries for their oil. And if we injure or kill other people that had nothing to do with it, well, collateral damage. Let's give it a nice fancy word so you could sleep better at night. Some of the people out there are such hypocrites, it's not even funny. So it's an underlying issue, and that's why I'm so upset about it. I mean, of course, I'll get over it. It's To me, this is not something I spend my whole life worrying about anymore. As you see, I don't make the same amount of videos as I used to, because I realize that 90% of the people out there are just, you can't help them. They'll disagree with whatever you say, no matter what you say, because they take a personal agenda against you. And that shows ignorance to me. That doesn't show strength. That doesn't show intelligence or the ability to change. You have to go with the times. You have to change with the times. If you have a computer from 1985, guess what? It's useless now. You have to upgrade. You have to modernize. You have to change. You have to go. I don't understand some people, but I... Cowards will always be cowards. That's why they hide. And unfortunately, a lot of them hide behind the thing called government. Have a great day, everybody. I'm going to go have fun for the rest of the day. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to spend time with my wife. And I'm just going to enjoy the fact that at least I'm not afraid to talk about things. Whether you agree with them or not is nothing more than your opinion of how you feel about what you're seeing, reading, or hearing. That's all it is. Peace, peace, double peace.